Hey guys, Report Rockstar here, and today we're going to chat a little bit about pivot tables. They seem to be a, certainly an important part of spreadsheets, any type of analysis or compiling data. And something I found is that when you're doing a repetitive process on, say, a monthly basis or weekly or daily, whatever it might be, uh, and you have a, a bunch of data that you need to put into a pivot table with the same columns. So in this case, if I'm looking at these four or five columns every day or every week, and I need to pivot those out, I'm going to try to save myself a step and just automatically have that pivot table be created. And so what I want to do today is take a look at a macro that will do that. Alt F8, bring up your macros, and I'm just going to do it real quick, run it and then I'll talk a little bit through it and we'll make one together. Simple as that. That's uh, the complete stage of course. What this has done, it has taken your account column, your unique values and put them into the rows. Taken the in out uh, and put that as columns and then it is summing your amount. Year and month are not being used in this pivot table. Alt F11 will take you to the actual pivot table macro. This is what it looks like. You can see here that we are named as pivot sheet select sheet 1, which is the name of our sheet. Select range A1, simple. Uh, as we come through here, the important things to see is our table destination. In this case I've said I want it to populate here on this tab. So starting here it comes down two and moves over seven cells. We name it pivot table. And then we start to name our rows. So our rows we said were count. Our column IO or fields and then we come down and we're going to say our amount is what we are summing on and then we're actually saying Excel sum and then labeling it sum of amount so that is the finished product we're going to back up and show you how we can create this a simple way without having to know the code for it off the top of your head we can come in Say macros, view macros, excuse me, record. We'll call this pivot 2. Okay. Now we can see that we're moving. So I'm going to put my cursor inside of our range, insert a pivot table. It is selected defaultly what it thinks is the table, which is correct. This time, let's say just put it in a new workbook. And let's hit OK. Now I have to build it. If you're familiar with these, this is fairly straightforward. We said the IO, we want as a column. We can just drag and drop these. The account is a row. And then we want the amount. And it is sum of amount currently. So now we have our pivot table. I'm going to come back to our macro and stop recording. And then we can come back in Alt F11. That was our first one. Now this is the one that was just made. So as soon as we hit record, we went to, we clicked and put our cursor in A2, and then we sold it to insert our pivot table. Now the danger with this is this is saying sheet one, and this is the range, You're saying row one, column one, through row one, five, four, two, column five. And so this is a very specific defined range. If your amounts are changing every month, you're going to need to make this dynamic. 
And what we've done here is done that by just saying uh, source data is active sheet used range. So as you see, there's no specific columns or rows or cells defined. So this is really the way we need to end up with it. But for demonstration, that's what they've done. We come down and we can see sheet two is where they're going to drop their new pivot table. Active sheet pivot table one is the name and again the fields or the columns or IO. So it's looking very similar from this point on. The account are our rows or our, uh, <clears throat> our rows, Excel row. And finally, our amount. Sum of amount is the label and sum. And that part was just that last click. I clicked in the other cell, so that's surely irrelevant. That last row. But there you have it. Sheet 1, Sheet 2. One more time. Let's take a look at this one. Pivot. Run. Much quicker. From here, you can do some other fun things I won't get into now. You can have your VBA automatically look at these if you need to do calculations on here, concatenations of uh, account and whatever else, or addition, subtraction, any anything you really want to do. Let me know if you have any questions on this. The file I will save and is added down below so you have access to that. You may download it and play around with it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. This is Report Rockstar, signing out.